What's up guys and welcome back to another Dale and Collins collectible videos. Today we're going to be going over the new Dragon Link and with Helky Fiber I expand exactly what you can do with the deck and can you still do anything? Yes. With either Star Lead Seifert or Black Metal Dragon you can one card combo get a Borolin Dragon and a Borolode Savage Dragon with two uh, tokens on it. Uh, so let's get into it. I'll go over the deck list at the end, but let's just see for, let's just summon Star Leech Seifart. What are you doing, cat? Alright, we're going to use the effect of Star Leech Seifert, even though in like a real game, I don't know if I would use it, I'm not 100% sure. But, uh, because it turns off the right of Aramis here, and that's gonna, that's gonna make it so we only have just the see the safer play. The, the rest of the hand is completely dead. I'm surrounded by cats. That's all the noise going on. Don't worry, it's just cats. Alright, we'll go into Striker Dragon after we use Cypher to search for the Black Dragon. Uh... Collapse. What's his full name? Collapse Serpent? Collapse Serpent. Right. Black Dragon. We want more. Well, both of these are like super, super critical. So you're going to leave the Boot Sector launch out there. Because people are going to think Boot Sector launch is more dead than the search. So they're not going to ash this chain link. That's the objective. Is you don't want them to ash. So you want to hide your Black Dragon search with your Striker Dragon so that they're less likely to ash. Now we're going to summon the White Dragon. From here we go into Romulus, which is the new Crystal Nalki Fiberax. It was already in every Dragon Link deck, but from now on you're, you're going Romulus every single game. There's no reason ever to not go Romulus from now on. So you Romulus, that's your first objective is can you build a Romulus, can you make Romulus with your hand? And in the process, can you search a boot sector launch or after? It's also okay if you have a striker dragon right here and you summon boot sector and you, uh, you add boot sector launch after you have the Romulus on the field. It doesn't really matter either or. It's technically a plus one if you have it after. It doesn't matter as long as you have it. So we're going to discard to put Absorider to the graveyard. Absorider is going to activate its effect, searching the Rocket Tracer. And you're going to notice with this extra deck, dark, 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 okay. Yep. With this extra deck, Romulus is the only non-dark extra deck monster what that means is rocket tracer can be used any point after romulus is summoned and it does absolutely nothing the negative apart and make sure you summon recharger it's extremely important you have recharger in the great for this combo to work uh, but rocket tracer well as it says for the rest of the turn you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except dark monsters and they're all dark baby let's go all right you might think oh we can make a chaotic ruler here if you did that would be so bad you literally can't make a chaotic right here or you're dead right there that's your play you made chaotic and that's it all right now watch this you have pasty with the rocket tracer and it doesn't matter which order you put Rocket Recharger and Rocket Tracer. It just matters which order you have Pisty pointing at an empty spot. Striker also pointing at the same spot. You want to make sure that you have Striker Dragon's uh, second effect to pop a monster and then add a rocket to the hand. But first, but first we're going to use Pisty. Any dark... So anything other than Star Liege will work. It just has to be a dark. Uh, most of the time, 
summoning rocket tracer is always correct most of the time now we're going to take these two and make a delingaris well you could just make borland right here though yes but you would just make borland and you wouldn't make the borlode savage dragon to back up omni negate any out they have to your borland so you want to get this delingaris normal card and you want to put it in your extra deck as a dragon link player because i'm about to show you why right here watch this so we're going to do this we're going to take the dark monster we summon off of pisty and pisty itself if we had an extension we could make a chaotic here and then use the pisty and chaotic because this is where you would make chaotic if we had any sort of extension but we just have a one card combo for the sake of this one card combo all right now we're going to use Striker Dragon targeting Delingaris, and this all happens in a unanimous one, two chain that happens rapidly back to back. So are you ready? We're going to use Striker targeting Delingaris, which is a dark, to add recharge to hand all at once. A dark is destroyed, recharger is in your hand at the same time, so recharger is in your hand, after a dark is destroyed, you use recharger. You then want to summon tracer, that's why it's almost always correct to summon tracer from the grave. Now, the lingers is going to activate, which is the only reason this card is in your extra deck, if a rocket monster is special summoned to the field while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon it, but banish it with new lids to the field kind of like chaotic ruler but all it takes is one rocket to be summoned from the graveyard or it's no just summoned to the field doesn't have to be summoned from the graveyard now now we have Borland, but we want to keep the rocket retracer on, the rocket tracer on the field these cats going crazy man i don't know what to tell you uh now we could go if we had an extension if we had any extensions we would have already went chaotic ruler which is why with just the one card combo you got like nothing but dead like hand traps and stuff in your hand you just want to stop right here say that's good enough boral end is cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects also neither player can target this card with the monster effects the only out to it is imperm and then you have to have an out to it so just in case they have that imperm they have that uh ghost ogre when i use no can't be destroyed can't be destroyed by card or battle it's got to be like a compulse uh draco back orcs draco back imperm compulse draco back imperm these things but why the uh bar load is here all right guys we're gonna go into the second game all right guys this is gonna be the play the combo with two card combo i don't know why that was so hard for me to say all right we're gonna use chaos base ditching the nibiru and there's our one card combo we got the black dragon now we know we can make striker into uh yeah striker into romulus with just black dragon but we have an extension the extension here is one for one we're going to get rid of one of these maxis we're going to summon black metal dragon which is the other one card combo in the deck i'm going to show you that one card combo as well are you ready are you ready striker dragon black dragon effect you want to mask it behind the boot sector launch so people think boot sector launch isn't important you're just using it as a uh, sort of the reason why they don't ash uh grandmaster with a moji chain block because the draw one isn't as important as the grandmaster so why use ash at all it's a very strong mind trick yeah now we get red med from black metal being sent to the graveyard this isn't a once per turn so it's any time if this card is sent to the graveyard you can just keep adding red meds but red med has been rerouted into a once per turn okay as you know we have striker dragon and we are 
we're getting into Romulus. We still have this extension. This big fat extension right here. But you're going to see what, what one extension allows you to do. Let's see. Uh, I think I have to discard Maxi, but the resulting field will be impressive. So the, it, the cost of a Maxi will totally be worth it. All right. Now, since we have one extension we haven't normal summoned it's irrelevant I don't think we're gonna need to just in case we mill because we are going chaotic ruler this game spoilers just in case we mill uh, and, uh, water and chances I am only running one so there is only one in the deck <coughs> just in, it, is, it could be milled I don't want to use the effect of a normal summon monster so we're going to use Boot Sector Launch. It might be correct to save Boot Sector Launch in a real game because it has the secondary effect that if your opponent controls more monsters, you can special from the graveyard. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to show you. All right, we're going to use Rocket. I, I think we still need Tracer in here for the graveyard play. Yeah, but we have one extension. Everything else is the same. The one extension is going to allow us, spoilers, we're doing all the same stuff. It's going to allow us to go into Chaotic Ruler and then into DPE as long as we don't mill everything uh, Fusion Destiny with DPE uh, with the Chaotic Ruler. If we mill it, then so be it. We really don't have much of a play. It's safer to go bore load even with just one extension. Just gonna pick a different dark dragon, it doesn't matter. I wish Absorado wasn't a hard ones for turn. Alright, let's do it again, guys. Here we go. Alright, 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 oh, yes, yes, I have thought of a better play, in the moment, with just one, with this specific one extension is two extensions it's black dragon and the white dragon so I'm going to just do all right so for the sake of the one extension play you usually mill something off this chaotic ruler I'll show you just for like example and that should allow you Or you could just use the effect uh, Boreland. Let's see what happens. Forgot I haven't used Boreland yet. Since we had one extension. Alright. This is... Ooh, Star Liege is going to the graveyard regardless. It's an alright. As you can see, Chaos Space is live. <coughs> Do I want to use it now to put Striker Dragon back? No, I want to use it to put Black Dragon back. So we have two extensions. One, one turns into two. Oh yeah, we're putting Black Dragon, I forgot. So we use Black Dragon. Now we use Chaos Space, specifically in this order. So when Black Dragon or White Dragon leaves the field, I will be able to use its effect. Uh, I can chain, it doesn't matter. These can both happen at the same time. Yeah, as you guys see. Are you going to be able to also make the DPE? That is the question. I... I will. I will indeed. Yes. With the one extension we milled with our one chaotic ruler, 
We have done it. We have done the Borrowed Savage Dragon into DPE. Oh, and I have Chaotic Ruler coming back. If I need game, he's coming. I want to do these in a different chain order. Just for the sake of this one's less likely to get negated than this one. Alright. Now, I could zombie vampire. And then DPE, but then I lose boil load for no reason. Oh, I got dark right here. Look at these options because of this extra deck. Dark if they had a dark in the graveyard, or, or you know what? It's turn one. Let's just make them ultimate fun. In the combo. And as you guys seen my video uh, previously on my channel, I know you've seen it. Uh, malicious and denier, duh. Don't run dashers uh, because it feels banned and it is not as good. Let's see, do I want to put Chaotic back into the extra deck with my Star Leech? Maybe next turn. But for this turn. I'll see you guys on the next clip because I'm going to show you what happens when you have unlimited extension. Alright guys, this is the best I could do in terms of like a really overpowered lore. Uh, yeah, I'm not really going to be talking much. I'm just going to sort of, sort of just go. Uh, Griffin Rider can be used as a wing beast to make Romulus. Cipher, just a cipher. We're gonna get black. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and search a striker. It costs to make striker after. We're going to be using the Griffin with the Striker to make a Romulus. Romulus, Search Ravine, Pitch the One, Hand Trap in this hand. It took so many games, it took 30 games before I could find a single, like, three or four cards or two are like extensions uh, I don't think I need yeah no I do I still want after router that's that's good after router searches the recharger or the rocket synchron it's either or Alright, we're going to be summoning both of the uh, monsters we got using Tracer's Effect. Summon a Synchron, Pisty, and a Striker Dragon. No. You could use this effect, but he's also got an effect that you can special summons to a zone of dark link monster points to. No. I think that's what I was fun to summon last time. Delingerous, delingerous. But you could use them to make out a cooler. I'm using that rocket synchron right now. I can't use it right now. I, I'm using it right now. This is the third game you get to see this play. Because this is the new Dragon Link standard play. Boral end. Uh, I've 
already used. I want to use this. Yeah. I want to use that. I use Cypher. Alright, that's cool. Chaotic Ruler. What do we mill? Please like snow. Uh, yeah, like that. Let's mill like that. Now you you guys are gonna get to see even more extensions. Y'all cats need to stop. Okay. I need to play this right. Okay, Void Ogre. That's why the rocket's in Gromus here. Okay. Now we do this. And then this. Recharger. Snow. Even. Snow. We do this. Bar load. Alright. Now. Oh, peace summon. Yeah. Peace scale. Give me one second. Alright guys, sorry about that. Alright. We're going to... <coughs> Chaos Ruler. Banishing, whatever. Doesn't really matter. I guess when the Striker Dragons, I could always get back. Alright. This is the very end. Of the unlimited combo. I'm going for DPE. That's why I'm not using malicious. If I use malicious, I will no longer have two DPE tar or two fusion destiny targets in my deck. So I have to use snow here. And this will be the very end of the combo. If you want to go ahead and go to the deck profile, or you can look. Oh, that's a light. I want to keep that. Striker doesn't matter, Apple Spiders doesn't matter, Maxi, alright. Fairytale Snow, oh I can summon this, this is better, I forgot about this. Don't do this, but at least you got, at least I saved enough materials, hmm. This one's not relevant. I was about to just not go Zambi Zombie Vampire. That was close. Decide. Can be two or more. I didn't know it was two or more. Two plus. Yeah, cool. Zombie Vampire, activate your pet effect. I would, uh, I believe, yeah. Chaotic Ruler because. Uh, I, it is not sent from the field to the graveyard. It is not banished. It never leaves the field because it was a material that it exceeds. Ready for Oh, I can summon anything. Did I go red med this game? No. Hmm. I believe that the black metal is correct. I didn't need snow. That sucks. Hmm. Yeah, the black metal has to be correct. I guess I would have gotten an extra plus, but I'm getting an extra plus from the black metal. I'd rather have a red med instead of just a random draw. Red med. All right. Now. Just basically. 
really act like I didn't used to know this game. I was just coming back from the AFK. Completely forgot the game board. Alright. And that would be the final game board. I don't, uh, yeah, you can't do anything after you use Berte. You could use Star Liege to put this back in your hand. That's pretty good. You got Red Med. For You're going to be able to summon this because you got Snow in the Grave at least as a light material. I think that's the only light. That's fine. Well, no, Snow's right. Well, I can put Snow in the Grave. So you're going to be able to use this Black Collapse Serpent. And we're going to take a and turn her into a dock. I hate that effect. I don't understand. I've never seen anyone ever use it for anything other than just BM. I understand this is like a master rule uh, link card, just like Krishan Halky Fiber Axe. These are just way too generic, and they were made because they want to promote the new game state. So. They want everyone to be playing the new cards. Two effect mods. Any fusion. Alright. Well, let's go into the deck profile. Alright, you guys. This is... Alright, guys. This is the deck. <laughs> Alright. Everything in it is mandatory. You can't cut anything. You can't change anything. You can't take your own cards. The extra deck is absolutely mandatory. You go through all these. Even Dark is the most common. Um, Branded Despia, the most common deck that you're going to play against. So you have to have Dark in your extra deck. So you can just seal a monster for a plus three. Well, a, a free a unicorn into an access code. This is for driver. If you resolve driver on your turn, you win. You just instantly go into chaotic ruler and just win. Do an effect failure? Why not imprint? Because effect failure is a light that you need in your graveyard. So when it gets milled, it's awesome. And if you need that hand trap, you can also search it off the chaotic ruler. You can't do that with imprint. Black metal for one card combo. One rocket synchron, you can't really play more than one, or it's incorrect. Because you're only, the only reason you have rocket synchron is to make hot res, so you're going to special it off of rocket tracer, unless you draw it naturally, and then you're just going to special something else with rocket tracer. The, yeah, you just need one. Three maxi, standard, three ash blossom, standard denier, and malicious, along with DPE. And Verte, that's the last time I'm going to be saying that. The Adventurer package. Ooh, I told you guys I'm only playing one Water Enchantress because why not just go ahead and play what the ban list is going to be. Uh, the Wyverns, I just play like TTG where these are at one and you just search. Oh, you add the one that you banish back to your deck and then search it for next turn. You don't need more than one. Everything is what you need. Like two effect failure and two rocket caliber. This is the only like spot right here. I just rather have one rocket or two rocket caliber and then two failer. Because the view is a better hand trap. Gamma is a better light hand trap. Same thing as effect failure. Nibiru and Gamma are just better than effect failure. Three rocket synchron, two charger, and one. I mean, two, three rocket tracer, two recharger, and one synchron. That's my personal 60 card deck package. And you're like, where? Where is it? Where is it at? You probably play 60 card deck link and you're not playing grass on Master Duel. Rage, but tell me why I would like to mill. Everything that I need for my combo. I go chaotic war at the very end after everything has been taken from the deck that I need. 
If I'm no perspective launch, I can't do shit. If I'm a dragon ravine, I can't do anything. I mean, there are some better cards that are in, that are, there's some good cards that are better in the graveyard, but there's still, still, <laughs> I don't know. If you actually play test with grass, you can find out for yourself that if you don't have it in your deck, you're better off. Like, take these three spots right here. Chaos Loving Year, Chaos Ember Dragon, and Galactic Spiral Dragon. While this card is in your hand or graveyard, if you control two or more light slash dragon slash dark dragon monsters, you special summon this card in defense. It's level 8. These are all level 8, they can allow you to go into vampire, zombie vampire extension. And you say these three are better than. are not as big grass. Zombie vampire. Caterpillar mill 9. And then most of the time you don't mill, mill anything. You don't really mill anything. Yeah, this isn't going to be a video on why grass is not good in Dragon Link. This is just going to be my deck profile and combo. Three star leech for one card combo, two caliber. So easy to special summon. This is just an extender. Uh, Destruville. Three Noctivision Dragon, also an extender for Dark Mod Dragon, and some special summon to your field. Special summon for free, and then if this is used as a link material, you draw a card. It's perfect. Wandering Griffin Rider or Wing Beast that summons itself that can be used for uh, Romulus. The big three that make Zombie Vampire plus Chaotic Roller. I really, really hate using my Boar Load in Chaotic. To make a zombie vampire because I'm just gonna go DPE and that means I traded Borload for DPE when I didn't have to. DPE is so easy to make. Two of monster. Red Med for the uh, Black Metal and the Biru for the light hand traps that you need just for the to have lights in your graveyard. And you run foolish because it mills anything you want. This card by itself is better than grass. And that's a thousand, there's a thousand reasons why. One for one specials the black metal. Uh, three chaos space. These also search chaos emperor and chaos dragon levinier alongside the collapse serpent and wyvern buster. Uh, the Adventure Package, Dragon Ravine, Boot Sector Launch, and 3 Quick Launch. The extra deck is absolutely stacked to the brim. D-P-E. Boom. Boiload Savage Dragon, Chaos Ruler, Void uh, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, Zombie Vampire, Pisty 2, Striker, Romulus, Delingerous Dragon, these are all a part of the combo, part of plant, Verte, Please Band, Manal, Sensalka's Band, and I'm gonna steal your Masquerade. Nightmare Unicorn, wait, 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 what's the one, no, no, no. Nightmare Unicorn, Access Code, and the Big Bad Boss Monster that cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Also, neither player can target this card with monster effects. This card can attack all opponents here. All monsters your opponent controls once each. 3500 U, uh, I mean, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. And then, yeah, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this activation and with that guys this is a 35 minute video it's going to take so long to upload to youtube thank you guys for watching peace <laughs>